Here you go. A phone for you. You did it! Thank you so much! Do you want the old one? It still takes pictures, you just can't do emailing or anything. What's emailing? You don't do emailing? I don't think so. So you've never been CC'd or heard the phrase per my last message? Nope! Although I do per all my messages now that I come to think of it. What an absolute blissful life you must lead, Kitty. Anyway, here's your phone. Yay, I've got a crappy phone. <laughs> Taking photos is really simple, you just bring up the camera and pose. Click. In fact, you should take a celebratory selfie now. Bring up the camera and get a snappy. Hang on. I need a picture of that beautiful face. There we go. So pretty. <laughs> See, I'm making people's day and being so nice. Just nausea as you lay on the ground. <laughs> See, I may have tripped her up, but she still likes me. Is that a chameleon? I must speak with him. He's wearing a top hat. Must be very important. Hello, sir. You look like a distinguished gentleman. Hello. Hello. Are you talking to me? Of course. You can see me. You're bright green against a, either a window or a grey wall. Um, yes. Astonishing. Oh, I like that his text box changes colour. I've never met anyone who can see through my superior camouflage. Does this mean my power is fading? No, it just means you're terrible with it. Who are you? I'm known by many names. Oh god, you're one of these people. Shrouded Sensation, the Invisible Lizard, the- Wait, where did you go, Wonder? I have honed my camouflage craft to the point where I can blend in perfectly with my surroundings. Or so I thought. For example, I'm so good at disguising myself that I can even make my words disappear. Watch this. <laughs> You're not saying anything. See that? No you didn't because my words are totally camouflaged. Uh, that's pretty cool. Thank you. Took years to perfect. But if you're a master of camouflage, how come I can see you? Quite. Perhaps it's to do with your eyes being so weird. Oi! That's mean! My eyes are weird? Have you seen them? Have you seen your eyes? I don't think I can. You just have to tell me. Well, for a start, they're on the front of your face. That's weird. It is. They don't seem to stick out at all. They're right inside your head. Taking up valuable brain room. Maybe I use my eyes for thinking. Can you at least move them in different directions at the same time? No, because that's fucking weird. I don't think so. Should I be worried, do you think? I couldn't say. I'm a magician, not a vet. However, if your weird inferior eyes are truly immune to my vanishing act, then I have finally met a worthy opponent? Wait, what? <laughs> I must learn to outsmart your weird eyes. I will don new disguises, practice new tricks, engage in the noble art of self-improvement. I don't want you to change on my account. <laughs> ah, sweet kitty. So weird, so small, so wrong. <laughs> no, to restore my reputation, it's the world's most concealed creature, I must change. It's the only way to defeat your weird eyes. When you say I want you to defeat my eyes, I challenge you to find me again, cat. Here? No, I shall leave this place while I adjust my technique. Then I shall reappear, somewhere else. Obviously, I'll be almost impossible to detect, so I'll leave you with a clue to my general location. Ahem! There is a place where hard hats shine, where concrete pours and diggers whine. I'll be camouflaged nearby, invisible to your weird eye. Oh, I know exactly where you're going to be. Do you mean eyes? Have you ever heard of a poetic license? No. I am a cat. Well, I have one, and I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> anyway, good luck finding me. Well, I know where he's gonna be. Oh, Jesus. Do hype. <laughs> he's in the toilet! Hello. 
You found me again, but how? You're incredibly visible. Seems that my search for the perfect camouflage continues. I continue to make adjustments while I wait to your new location. It's a third time's a charm, after all. Here's a clue for when you're ready to try to track me down. A metal friend with arms spread wide provides a place to climb and slide, but you won't know I'm there at all because I'm invisible. Hmm. Are you sure invisible rhymes with that at all? Honestly, it's not my best work, but I could have spent more time on the clue if you'd taken longer to find me. I'm confident about my next adjustments, though, so further rhymes should be unnecessary. Good luck. Okay, I don't even know where that one is. Are all these the shinies? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So shiny, so pretty, so reflective. Who's pretty girl? Are you disposing them responsibly? Yes. And with that, we have completed our first heroic act together. Can I to try disposing of them? Definitely not. These are ancient crow rituals. Well, do I get my reward? Your what? Oh yes, your reward. Don't worry, not as I see that fish. Just a minute. Wait, crow, was this a scam? <laughs> Where'd he go? Yeah. Wow, a fish! This should give you some climbing energy. Not enough to get all the way home, but it's a start. Where would I start climbing? There. Oh, I can climb the branches. You're going to need more fish to make it all the way to the top. Do you have any more? Not right now, but I've seen them elsewhere in the city. Just keep your eyes open, you'll find them. Thank you. No worries. Enjoy the fish. Oh, and keep hold of any shinies you find out there. Just had an idea. Demolish it! <laughs> Woohoo! Fishy! Lime ivy. Cool. Oh, a ladybug! Does this lady make me lucky? We're wearing that. Where is it? Where is it? Put on. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh, a goose. Ah, hello there. I wonder if you could provide some uh, urgent assistance. Are you a goose or a duck? I think it depends on the problem. Eh. Oh, I see. Quite right, quite right. I don't want to alarm anyone, yet it's rather a pressing concern. Although perhaps I'm just panicking. But there's no two ways about it. About what? Oh, did I say? I've seemed to have mislaid my ducklings. So you are a duck. What do you mean you've mislaid them? Mislaid? Is this a bird joke? I don't follow. Never mind. Missing ducklings sounds pretty serious. It does, isn't it? What happened? Well, we were all enjoying an educational tour of the neighborhood. <laughs> Me teaching the youngsters some local history, etc. For example, you know the robot statue in the park behind us? There's a robot statue? Where? I need to see it. I didn't even know there was a robot statue there. Oh, you should absolutely visit it. You see, the robot is quite fascinating. Not a statue in the traditional sense either. Legend has it that a wise duck, not too dissimilar from myself in fact, would visit this park every day with his robot friend. Very loyal robots. Delightful. Back then this was a lake. A great wet thing where the pair would swim. Splashing and frolicking. You know the sort of thing. But robots and water... Eh, oh god. What, did the robot die? Eh? You could have chosen to shit somewhere else. All that fizzing and sputtering. Not simpatico at all. Rust patches, wet circuitry, exploding knees. The robot, not the duck, I mean. <laughs> I certainly hope the robot, not the duck. The robot's swimming days were over. Terribly sad stuff. So we asked the duck to change his programming. Quite the feat, if you ask me. Can I get my head around the computers myself? The ducks helped program the robot to wait in the playground while the duck swam. Grand idea. And 
that and it went beautifully. But one fine day, probably much like this one, truth be told, the duck was attacked by a radioactive monster. <laughs> Wait, a monster? This is a great story. We've got ducks, we've got robots, we've got monsters. This is wonderful. Gekku? <laughs> Usually Gekku is our protector, you know. Breathing fire, saving orphans, char galas. galas. Lovely chap, apart from the rampages, really. I mean, we all have to have a hobby. Rampages? Oh yes. Humans write those up in little paper documentaries. Very engaging, really. Paper documentary? Do you mean comics? So Gekku kidnaps the duck. And whoops a daisy, throws him through a star portal. Whoosh, quack, never to be seen again. And the thing we mistake for a statue of the playground is actually a loyal robot waiting patiently for his friend to return from her swim. I'm really not saying how this relates to your missing ducklings. <laughs> oh no, it's just a great story. I shared it with my ducklings before we split up to find more neighborhood stories for our little show and tell session. Well, thank you for telling me this wonderful story. It's truly engaging. Show and tell? That sounds fun. Yeah. Oh yes, I thought so. Anyway, we scampered off in different directions. All very exciting in the moment. But uh... I suppose this is the crux of the matter, really. I didn't set a time or place for us to reconvene. Aha! Wasn't sure what to do for the best. Not really a practical duck, you see. But I didn't want us to be rushing around missing one another. Dreadful when that happens. So I retraced my steps back here and waited. No luck. Alas, no. But you seem like a practical sort of cat. Does my hat give it away? Very resourceful, so could we team up? I'll keep watching her and be kind of enjoying it, really. And you scout the city. The whole city? It seems pretty big. Hmm, you're right. There must be a way... There must be a way... I'm guessing that's a mistype. For us to narrow down the search. Eureka! <laughs> we made a city map just last week. Marvellous thing. Part of a project to catalogue all different fish hotspots in the city. Stocklings march each of their favourite places on it too. Such euphemism for maps. And I bet that's where they will have gone. Here, take it. My orientated skills are dreadful, but you'll be able to track them down in no time. Uh, I'm not that great at reading maps. Just ignore the fish marks. Can't see what interests they would be to a kitty. Unless you're budding itchiologist, of course. Okay, can I go past here? Oh, another poor hello. How are you? Oh, wrong button. <laughs> hello, test subject guys. Deemed lab assistants. I managed to get the pet mark, trademark. Portal's connected up properly. That was quick. It would have been even quicker, but there was a minor space time incident. Nothing to worry about though. How minor? In the grand scheme of the multiverse, it was absolutely trivial. Just a teeny tiny set of water pipe explosions that fell out of the future in another universe and into the recent past of the uni this universe. Oh yeah, that's teeny tiny. Hang on a moment. Is that where all this water came from? <laughs> Turns out I've been using the linear space-time when I should have used quadratic space-time. Laughable, really. You want to try it out? It's really cool. I need a test subject out of friend. Yes. Test subject isn't filling me with confidence. <laughs> That's why I pivoted flawlessly into friend. Yes, flawlessly. Not at all, obvious. Still sounds risky. Ah, but risk is just a pessimist way of describing excitement. Anyway, if we get this working, you can use it to fast travel around the sea. No, in that case, sign me up. Don't say no just yet. Hear me out. But I said yes. Firstly, there. Wait, what? I said yes. For real? I got so confused there. I thought I didn't press yes at first. Call me curious. <laughs> Isn't this saying going curiosity killed the cat though? Yay, this is so exciting. You won't regret it. I already am. Do you need feathers again? Not this time. Your first journey was so short that I had leftovers. Hop in. It's going to work this time. 100% sure. Give or take. Whee! Where am I going? Oh, dog, you scared him! Oh, Fluffy! Are you okay? Oh, it's you. You came back. I thought I scared 
You off when I jumped out the window. That was you? Goodness me, you did give me a bit of a fright. Oh, sorry, I just get so excited when people come to visit me. You're a dog, right? Only the bestest, best, goodest dog, my human says so. Nice to meet you properly. I didn't know there was an official bestest, best dog title. Ah, you may know me by my other accolades, perhaps. <laughs> the squishiest, smoothiest potato or the fuzziest, happiest little pooper. Pooper. The last one might not be an accolade. It's all in the delivery. Hmm. I, hang on a moment, did you say squishiest, smoothiest, smooshiest potato? Sorry. Sure did. My human calls me that too. Gosh, that award must have a multiple animal categories then. It's a pleasure to meet you, fellow potato. Likewise. Anyway, it was lovely to chat. I hope you have a good day. Um, don't go. There's this thing that happened. Can you help me, little potato? Just growl at me. What do you need help with? Are you stuck? I've lost my balls. There's an obvious joke I can make. But I'm not going to. Ah! <laughs> He's thinking this way. My tennis balls are gone. Come through and I'll show you. What are you doing? Look, no balls. Is your owner going to be happy that you've dug a massive hole in their garden? There's a whole heap of them right there. Um, I appreciate this might be a silly question, but... Aren't they behind you? What? Oh, those, no. These are just my regular favourite tennis balls. I'm talking about my extra special favourite tennis balls. They're very different. I think I've seen a few of them. What happened to them? Oh, well, you see, Tanuki built me a present. Oh, God. Oh, well, let me guess. There was an incident of some sort. Not to start with. It was so cool. You could put tennis balls in it and throw them for me while my owner was at work. That sounds really nice. It was perfect for a while. But um, I also did go rogue one day. Balls everywhere. And then it caught on fire a tiny bit. I've got most of them back, but my three favorite favorites are still missing. And the machine? I buried it. Please don't tell Tanuki. It would be so sad. Oh, Tanuki's a girl. Um, and also, please, 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 can you help me find my favourite balls? I'd be so grateful. Sure, but how I know if they're your favourites? Don't all tennis balls look the same? Absolutely not. Each one is subtly different from the others. The scent, the taste, the texture, the personality. I'm not sure I'll be able to tell you the favourites from the non-favourites, if that's the case. Well, my favourite balls would also have a bright rainbow-coloured stripes. Now that's a description I can work with. Shall I bring them here when I find them? Yes, please. Just put them in the hole in front of me and I can guard them properly. Sure thing. Big potato. You're the best little potato. Cute. Finally a dog that's not going to scream at me. Oh, can I nap in here? Right, I'm looking for ducklings and your tennis balls. Right, how does this map work? Okay. So I'm guessing that's where the ducklings might be. Cool. Okay, I'll need to get some feathers. Let's go back to the dock. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Ooh, a duck. I presume I need to find the crow again as well. Can I just throw you in? Yay! <gasps> Gotta go down the slide. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 let me go down the slide. Oh, I found you! you. Wait, what's worse? That's worse. It means you found me again. I can't work out if you're being serious or not. I really can't. I assure you this is the most seriously I have ever taken anything. Oh. It's just that uh, I mean... Yes? Well, you're right there. There's no other way to say it. I can see you. 
There is absolutely- this is absolutely baffling. But there must be a solution. Perhaps I'll figure it out on the way to the next location. Oh god. Speaking of which... Sealed glass containing snacks can stop a human in their tracks. What's better than just one machine? A group of six to choose between. That one's pretty good. Thank you. I was very proud of myself. That's enough chit chat. Good luck finding me. Okay. Now, more permit. Can I go down the slide? Yay! Again, again! So I've got to find like six vending machines. Are you allergic to me? Well, that's just stupid. Hello! Found you! Kitty, you look like the kind of cat who enjoys this stylish accessory or two. Is this a trap? Definitely not. Okay. Well, if that's all, I guess I'll see you around. I'm Lisley. Have you heard about my new and glorious business venture? Has this got anything to do with shinies? Uh, it's called Shinies for Hats. You're selling hats now? <laughs> Absolutely not. But it's literally called Shinies for Hats. Aha! That's a clarified. I'm not selling the hats, I'm selling access to the hats. You see, the hats live in these little pot machines. And you have a helpless kitty. Do not. And you, a helpless kitty, do not have the secret wisdom needed to use the machines. Let me guess, you do. But of course, only I, Crow, can perform the ancient Crow ritual of inserting a token and turning a knob. That doesn't sound so difficult. Which brings us to business. My proposition is as follows. Five lets you hire one crow. That's me to retrieve one hat. So you are selling hats. No, I am a facilitator operating within a gig economy framework. With a business called Shinies for Hats. Yes. But only because shinies for access to crows who have access to hats tested poorly with consumers. Maybe because it's too long a title. And to use this business I pay five shinies and get one hat. You're missing the subtle economic genius of my idea. I am the hat gatekeeper. Look, do you want a hat or not? <laughs> yes. Here you go. Oh, a warm on hat. I think I'll stick with my ladybug bunch now. That is so cute! Hello, are you playing video games? Look at him! He's jumping up a storm! Look, look, look! What are we looking at? It's only one of the greatest games of all time! Are you old enough to be watching this? My dad says I'm an old soul. Speaking of your dad, he asked me to come and collect you for show and tell. Sure. That was easy. There must be a catch. I'll go as soon as the screen stops showing things. And there it is. When will that be? No idea. I think it's looping, so it might be night never end. I see. But if the screen goes dark, do you promise you'll go back to your dad? Duckling's honor. How do I get you to... Stop playing. I'm seeing all these yellow things. It makes me think something to do with that. Are you wearing a headband? I've just realized. I can't do something with this. Yep. Off you go to your dad. Hey, wow, the, all the walls are supposed to be sliding around like that? Definitely not. Oh, when I blink, I can see purple shapes. I think some time away from the screen is a very good idea. Shall we get you back to your dad? Okay, I can't tell about the new combos I saw, um, Bilson do. Let's waddle. Oh, oh, you're following me. Okay. Well, since I have you, I might as well go find the other ones. 
Uh, well, there's one kind of like almost straight ahead. Great, I'm babysitting now. Nothing to see, just a cat and a duckling. Oh, I see him. He's in there. Oh, we can't go in. Oi! Look at me! I have a pond all to myself! Are you sure it's a pond? I'm a duck. We know about the ponds. My apologies. I think it might be time to get out of the pond though. Your dad sent me to collect you for a show and tell. But there's still water to play in. Ugh, how can you stand it? Water? It's so cold and wet. Yuck. Wait, so does this mean you can't collect me until I'm out of the water? Aw, oh, shit. Uh oh. Yay, pond time forever! I should have seen this coming. Hmm, there must be a way to get this little one out of the water without getting wet. Sorry. Ooh, I can take a nap in the photocopier. Is there anyone working here? Oh yeah, there is. Oi, help me get rid of this. You realize there's a duck in your store, right? Ooh, a jar. What? I can't move. Can I turn this off? Or can I use it? Oh, I can use it to blow duckling out of the way. <laughs> Where are you? Excuse me. That was such a cool solution, Kitty. Thank you. I hope you're not too disappointed to be on the dry land again. Now I'm starting to get a tiny bit tired and a big bit hungry anyway. Oh, maybe dad loves snacks. You can ask him about show and tell. I've forgotten show and tell. That'll be a perfect place to tell him about all the swing I did. Let's go, Kitty. So one's got a headband on him, the other one's sort of got like what looks like face buds. Like, sort of like little hair. Looks like you've got little pigtails or something. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I. Eat. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, I got more. to get that. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I still need these. Okay, let's go. Fine. I don't know how many there are. Let's see. So your siblings are further up north. You're okay. Keep up. Oh, it's a dog. Am I allowed? To oh, I know where this takes me. Ah, I saw a bone, but it was ages ago. Mm. Need to go up that way. Okay, let's go to your dad first then. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to come back to that later. Is excuse me, Tanuki. Your dad. I'm not anywhere close. Hang on. I see someone I need to talk to. Oh, you can come up here as well. Oh, you fly. Right. Let's think about this logically. <laughs> You can't be using infrared goggles to find me because I'm cold-blooded. Also, you're not wearing goggles. 
You don't seem like the type to use a tracking device. There's a tracking device type? Well, it's less of a type and more of a particular creature. It Jesus. You mean a particular species? I mean Tanuki. She got hold of one a year ago and started fastening it to anything that moved. <laughs> Seems about right. Ah. I don't think she was even recording the data. She just liked watching the dot move about on the scanner thingy. What happened to it? Crow started a data protection service. A what? It was just him looking over Tanuki's shoulder at the scanner then offering to tell us if the tracker was stuck to us in exchange for bottle caps. Anyway, Tanuki apologized for getting carried away and I think she's repurposed the tracker for some kind of teleport project. It's up and running. Oh really? And there have been no unforeseen consequences? Uh, you could def could you define consequences? No need. Your answer tells me everything I need to know. Oh, I've just had a thought about this camouflage conundrum. I want to try it immediately, so there's no time to waste. Here's your clue. Oh god. Lizards used to rule the earth and will again, just mark my words, but until then, there's world of Geku. Store where I will uh Eat a big stew. I do like stew. Maybe I'll treat myself to a bowl while I wait for you to a bit to feet. It's no good for my clue though. Let's go with. Lizards used to rule earth and will again just mark my words, but until then there's a world of Geku, a store where I will now expect you. Good luck, Katie. I've just walked past that store, so I know exactly where you'll be. Right, ducklings. Let's go see. That's a big jump. Let's go find your father. Come away. There you go. I've got two of them. Where are they? There. Ah, what a relief. Wait, this isn't the full brood. Well, that's the sort of thing my parent partner tends to do is. Should I leave them here while I carry on the search? No, help, let me help. I want to play for the kitty. You can stay with kitty as long as you promise to behave nicely. Wait, what? <laughs> I promise. So do I. Yeah, kitty being followed by ducklings reminds me of a story I heard as a youngster. Quite the epic tale. That was, you see? Psst, Kay, let's go. Okay. I'm duck sitting, apparently. Uh, God, there's a, God, there's actually got a big mouth. So. I'm trying to think where I saw a bone. Because I did see one, but I, God, I can't remember now where I saw it. Journey. Okay, I've passed them, but oh well. Oh! Hat! A mushroom hat! It's a perfect hat for traveling because it won't take up mushroom. Get it? Mushroom? Yeah, no. Uh. I thought you'd go up the stairs, not hit your head on it. dog. I need a bone but I don't know where a bone is. Oh there's one literally right there. Perfect. Here. Thank you. How are you tripping over me? You saw me. Oh cat, have you seen a duckling? According to this they're in your shop. Thank you. Wait, are you only pretending to sleep? Do not question the mayor. Okay, according to this thing, your brother or sister is in here. Apparently I should be able to see them. Oh, unless they're in here. Okay. How do I get in here again? Oh, 
Are they in the washing machine? Hello. Yep. I'm surprised they're not dead. Hello. Hello in there. Your dad sent me to fetch you for show and tell. But my ride hasn't finished. I can't get out while it's still going. How long does I have left? I don't know. I fed it 400 shinies. How long does that get me? Uh, according to science, it seems about 60 hours. That can't be right, can it? 60 hours? That's amazing! But what about your dad? You can take me back to that as soon as the door pops open. You promise? I promise. There must be a way to get the door open without waiting. What was that? Nothing. Just talk to myself. See you after the ride. Oh, children. Oh, hello. You're in here now. I bet you're wondering how to push that button, huh? You read my mind. It's pretty easy, you just have to use your head. And by use your head I mean RB run head first at the button. Okay, then what? Then nothing, you just bonk the button with your head and that's it. Won't that hurt? You're made of stronger stuff than that, Kitty. A little bonk on the noggin won't harm a tough cat like you. You sure? Certain, just RB run towards it. Cool. Ow. Did you see me in there? I was tumbling everywhere. What the fuck are you? Are you there? I did. Aren't you a bit dizzy now? Nope, but I'm very warm and fluffy. <laughs> and you probably smell lovely. This must be what it's like to be a towel. Anyway, I can't wait to tell Dad about my death defying dryer machine. Please don't do that. Should we go find him then? Yep, let's go! Oh, I've I knocked in something in there. Yay. <laughs> Still scares me. According to this, your siblings should be in the fruit shop or somewhere there. Duck? You in here? What? Why did you freak out? to be here. Can I not just take back the three of you? I mean, it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm confused. Where is he? Am I meant to go up here? This seems normal. Do not fall. Oh, hello. You having fun? Hello up there. Hi, are you here to see me fly? I'm super great. You are, but that isn't why I'm here. Your dad asked me to find you and bring you back to the pond. Is it time for show and tell already? It is. Okay, okay, but uh... Is there a problem? Not a problem exactly, it's just I don't quite know how I started flying, so I also don't quite know how to stop flying. <laughs> I see. So unfortunately, I will just have to stay up here. Whee! Leave it with me, I'll have you down shortly. Okay, but not too shortly if you don't mind. Uh, just guessing I'll pull this across. Use your strength, Fluffy. Or Kitty. Oh, it's so weird being on solid ground again. Weren't you scared being stuck up there like that? 
Birds aren't really scared of stuff like that. Dad says that flying is in our feathers. Speaking of your dad, we should get back to him for show and tell. I can tell him all about my flying. Do you think he saw me in the air? I went so high up they must have. Let's go and then you can ask him. Okay. Cool. I have old children. What do I get now? Oh, hang on. Leave no duck behind. Especially rubber ones. Ow. Sorry again. Oh, I need to get past you. Here are your children. One, two, three, and four. That's all of them. What a relief. I was starting to get a little panicky. We were fine, Dad. I was the most fine. You were not. Was too. Nuh uh. Yaha. Children, please. You, uh, you're all exactly the same amount of fine. It was nice to meet you all. Oh, children. We thank the kind kitty for all their help. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Not you! We're talking to the key! Thank you, key! We love you, kitty! Dad, you have to say it too! Ah, quite right. Thank you, kitty. Please take this as a reward for everything you've done. <gasps> duck hat. Makes me feel part of the family. It will remind you that you're always part of the duck family. Dad, 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 dad! Is it time for a show and tell? Absolutely. Let's do it over in the pond. Raj. Bye bye, kitty! Toodaloo! Enjoy your hat. My show and tell is going to be the best. It's useful information. Stay safe, ducklings. Have a good show and tell. Oh. There. Not much of a show and tell if your dad's asleep and you're all just chilling. <laughs>